Come on. Hi. Hi. I'm Jaden Ford. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm here with uh, iTech 451 LLC in our uh, lumbering construction industry. Okay. I met with uh, Alejandro earlier this week and set up this meeting here with you today. He did. Let me check my calendar because I don't see that. Hmm. Oh, he went to note here. Okay, you guys selling construction stuff. Yep, construction stuff. So. All right. Um, how's your week been going so far? Fine, how about yours? Oh, it's been going good. Uh, pretty busy. Are you guys busy around the school and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, that's always a good thing, I suppose. Um, so one of the things he did ask me to bring in our meeting is a statement from one of our customers. So I just wanted to give that to you. Um, it's just a testimony about he was concerned about our um, delivery and um, storage. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to give you a, that peace of mind that, that what I did say is in fact true and that we do offer free storage and free delivery, especially at this time with COVID. Um, everything's kind of hit or miss with the supply chain. What are you doing to control costs? Um, to control costs, you know, the market has been pretty hectic. So what a lot of our customers are doing currently is they are ordering in bulk and then we are actually holding it for them so as you know osb two by fours any of that stuff is getting pretty or was getting pretty pricey it's actually starting to go down but um for the time being we were bulk ordering a lot of stuff and keeping it in our warehouses for them okay so how do you do with the supply chain then you're 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 giving up warehouse space mm -hmm. in order to to satisfy existing orders yeah. that haven't been fulfilled that's got to type a lot of cash for you. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, it's great if it would be great if that wasn't the case. Obviously, no one planned for COVID and no one can predict when it's going to be over. So we're just doing our best to keep inventory in house for those customers that we've had for years and uh, trying to maintain our relationship with them and keep them happy. How many customers do you service? Uh, I currently service 50, uh, ranging in all different sizes from um, larger end to smaller. Um, contractors. And what's your primary role? I deal primarily with lumber and shingles, and then we have um, specialists in all of our divisions. We have a specialist for windows, um, doors, cabinets, any of the stuff that you need as far as that goes as well. Okay. So free delivery, free storage, quick delivery. What does quick delivery mean? So in the Kearney area, um, if you call in your order and it's of a convenient size, we can typically have it there within the hour. We have a couple of trucks that just stay in Kearney primarily. So unless there's something that they have to be out of town for, but in that situation, we'll just give you a heads up and we'll do our best to get it there as quick as possible. We always have a vehicle at the lumber yard. You always have a vehicle at the lumber yard. Yeah, that we can always uh, use and use for whatever it may be. Okay, and are you a one-stop shop? You got everything I need or? So some of the stuff that he said you guys need are fixing for doors, like stuff to fix doors, siding, framing, uh, paint, and some carpet stuff. And we do carry all that. And then we also carry some other product if you may need it. And if we do not have it, we can always go pick it up from another supplier or we can work that out where if it's something you need to specially order, we can get it in. So how do you price me when you have to go get it from somewhere I could just go get it from? Um, we're going to go ahead and try and give you the best price that we can. A lot of times we don't have to, there's only been a handful of times. And since I've been working there, oh, we've had to do that. And um, we try and keep the price what it would be if you bought it from us. But you don't stop this merchandise. So you don't know what the price would be if I bought it from you. So we will call in, we will get the price and then we'll call back and give you the price of what it would be. So we're not just going to, you're not going to call in here and say, I need this. We don't have it. We're not just going to go pick it up. We're going to call you back and we're going to say, hey, this is the price that we're working with. Um, is this going to work for you? Is this something you wanted to look at? Or would you rather us order it in and take the time to get it in? So there's a couple of routes. That is there a minimum dollar amount that I have to meet on each uh, order in order to get the free delivery? No, anywhere in Kearney. So with your guys' school district, um, you guys are only in Kearney in the Carney area. So anything within Carney is free. Even if it's a $2 part? 
even if it's a two dollar part. So how do you mitigate the fuel costs that are rising so quickly? That's just something that we've offered to help keep us in business. Um, we're a little bit of a smaller lumber yard, so we got to compete with the bigger competition. Which is where it becomes problematic, right? So uh, if you're guaranteeing me a, a competitive price and you're guaranteeing me free delivery, even if it's a $2 item, and you're guaranteeing me free storage space in your warehouse, mm -hmm. how do you make money? I'm concerned you'll be out of business in six months. Yeah, um, so far that model has worked great for us, so we haven't had any issues as far as money. We're one of our, we, Last year at this time, we were our second leading um, lumber yard in like, so we're under Chicago Lumber and that's our, um, that's our main person, our Chicago, our Chicago Lumber and then Century Lumber is a division of that. And there's locations, uh, Nebraska, Kansas, Wyoming. And last year we were second and this year we're actually leading um out of all those in terms of volume in terms of customer satisfaction in, in terms, terms of um sales and volume yes okay but you just said you're a small lumber yard now you're the second biggest in the a small a small lumber yard in comparison to maybe like mead lumber okay so that's what i mean when i say small we're not our facility is not as large as mead lumbers or menards but it still does a large amount of volume so a sheet of osb was like nine dollars a year ago right mm -hmm. what is it today uh, it's around that like fifty dollar mark. Okay, so you realize that for every dollar that your material goes up, you have to raise that price, that plus your margin, in order to maintain your profitability. Yeah. So what you're telling me is that what was the price? What were you selling that nine dollar sheet for a year ago? Um, I have no idea. Maybe around the fifteen dollar ball mark. I have no, I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, well, let's make the numbers easy. If, if it was $10 and you're selling it for 15 and now it goes up to 50, mm -hmm. you gotta sell it for what? That'd be 55. Be 55, no, that's because you, you've now deteriorated your margin. I guess I'm, I'd have to get back to you on that. I'm not sure exactly what the margin would be on that. Okay. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about bidding because um, we, we do several large projects. So as we're getting into the project, we, we do a prints and we, we, have a, we have a plan and we send that off to somebody and you guys do what with it? Um, so we actually have a guy who will um, bid quotes based off of approved bl blueprints. So if your blueprint's been approved by the city, we'll take that in and we can look at it and design. We'll figure out how much lumber you're gonna need, if you need windows, doors, all that kind of stuff. And we can kind of give you options as far as you know we think this store would work well or you can tell us exactly what you're looking for we need this level of security or we need this so okay when you say this level of security what do you mean so some doors are going to have you know and maybe you need a steel door in a location okay that's um, okay. yeah just that okay. kind of stuff maybe on like a maintenance room you want a door that um has a key lock that you can only you know, like stuff like that so okay and what do you mean by in-house private contractors? You actually own the contracting companies or you... So there are contractors. So they work for us. They do window insula uh, insulation. They can put in doors. They can put in um, cabinets. So we have a group of guys that do that for both of us. Is that built into the cost of the materials or... Um, so that will, be, that will be built separately. That'll be like... If you were to actually go out and hire a contractor, we just offer those in-house just for that extra value and that extra, if that's what's the route you want to go, they have a ton of experience in those defined places. So, okay. And then we also have a great team of private contractors that we have that we recommend that have done business with us for a long time and are reputable in the area. Okay. So sum it all up for me. Tell me what value you bring that I can't get from somewhere else um, with regard to coverage of materials that I need, with regard to just everything. Sum it up for me. So I think a big one is obviously the free delivery and free storage. Obviously, you're not going to find that too many other places. And I know you had concerns with that, but thus far, that's, what, that's been what's working for us. Um, I don't personally create our business model, but I trust in it and it's been working. So I think that that's a huge um, value. Also with the delivery times, I, those are a huge plus. I think if you have 
let's say you have something that breaks and you need it done, you need it right there right now because you have students that are in and around it, you know, we can get that to you as quickly as possible. And then just with all our product specialists as well, um, I know I can speak more on like the shingle side and lumber side, but as far as cabinetry goes and windows and stuff like that, um, those guys can definitely find the right fit for you. Is there anything else that you look for in a company when you're talking value? Is there things that you'd like to see that maybe I didn't touch on that I can maybe clear that up? Yeah, there, there actually is. Uh, my, my, uh, my most important thing is, is a one point of contact. I, I want one person that I rely on for everything. Okay. I want to make one phone call. Mm -hmm. um, I found in, in my experience that that person can never be a salesperson, can, cannot be the guy who is, is actually penning your contract or making your deal. That guy has to be more involved in the day-to-day -day workings of the operation. So what do you have with regard to that? So you're talking about you want to talk to someone higher up as in like a manager? No, I want to talk to a guy who can deliver, a guy who can get me the stuff I need when I need it. So what I found in, in operations like this is you call and you get one guy, you get you get Fred on Monday and you get you know somebody else on Thursday and there's no continuity in, in the business model. Um, so my concern is just that I want one guy, I want his cell phone number. I want him to be able to text me. I want one guy. So can you offer me one guy? Yeah, we can definitely do that. And with that, what we'll do is we'll have you communicate with one guy. You'll bring your issues to that guy. And if he does need assistance in answering a question, he can go to our product specialist and get back with you at a rather quick manner. And he can ensure that you're getting exactly what you're looking for, because at the same time where you want to speak to one person, we don't want you to speak with one person and not give you the right solution. So maybe it'll be, hey, you know what, I'll get back to you. Can you give me 30 minutes? Let me make a call. We'll make that call and then we can figure out something that'll work for you. Okay. And I know another um, thing you guys had a big issue, was, uh, issue with was your leaking cement, since you guys have a um, brick building. And I did find a solution for you guys for that. And um, I was looking into it and talked to some other individuals that do some of that stuff. And the, I think the best solution for that would have been your hydro, it would be hydraulic cement. So that will patch up any leaks you guys may have. And we can keep some of that in uh, house for you guys. And then we can keep some at your facility as well, if you'd like for any leaks that might come up uh, unexpected. So, okay. Anything else for me? Uh, do you have any other questions, concerns? I don't. Um, as far as this goes, would you like to have another meeting or would you like to work something out in the future? I'll need to sit down with Alejandro. Um, he's, he's obviously not, not here today. He's, he's kind of lazy uh, when it comes to most of his life. But the weird thing about him is, have you met his wife? I have not. Boy, talk about, talk about out kicking your coverage. I mean, she's just the sweetest thing and he's not, right? Oh, I think he's quite sweet. Oh, do you really? <laughs> yeah. Do you really? Then, then I don't know how well we'll get along. Oh, well, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, I don't. I don't have any. I don't have anything else to discuss. Um, I'll talk with him, and then I'll have him get back in touch with you at his convenience. All right, sounds good. If you have any other questions, just uh, give me a holler, and I'll be happy to answer those. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you.